Here I am on a par four, long par four, and I'm up at the tee box, and I've got to make a decision of how I'm going to approach um, the shot, and in particular, how am I going to manage the tee box. And tee box management is really important based on your typical ball flight pattern, and hopefully you have a constant one, one way or the other. That would be our goal. In my case, my predominant ball flight is right to left, so I'm going to set my ball up in most cases on the left side of the tee box so that I open up the right side of the fairway because my ball tends to curve to the left. Here's a thought that I want you to implement, and this comes from my, my good friend Jim McLean, uh, one of my big mentors and obviously a great teacher. He says that he wants you to imagine the fairway being a three-lane highway. So let's pretend we're on 95 North here, and the right side of the fairway is the right lane. We've got the center lane down the middle of the fairway, and then the left side would be the left lane. In my case, if I play a draw, the right-to-left shot, I'm going to set up over here on the left, and I'm going to aim down the right side, down the right lane, because I know that in most cases my ball works back to the left. If I aim up the right and I happen to hit it straight, I'm still in the fairway. If I aim up the right and I hit my typical little baby draw, I'm in the middle. If I overturn it a little bit, I'll still be in the left side. So think about how you're going to manage the tee box based off of your typical ball flight. If you're a fader of the golf ball, I would encourage you to set up on the right side. If you're a straight ball hitter, depending on the hole, you're probably going to tend to aim a little bit more uh, in the middle. Again, depending on the dog leg um, and the shape of the hole. But I want you to think about that. It's really important.